Orthographic sketches are a great way to explore different design directions. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take an orthographic drawing and project it in a two-point perspective. First, let's start by establishing our two-point perspective. Okay, so we've got a perspective established with the horizon line and two vanishing points. Um, now let's draw a 2D grid with our orthographic drawing in this corner here. So what I'm gonna do is draw, um, here I've got like a rectangle that's a like um, two by one in ratio where um, this side is twice as long as that side. And so in um, two-dimensional, two-dimensionally, it's very easy to translate this, um, you know, or extend, uh, double it so that it becomes a, a two by two uh, grid where, um, and I'll show you how to do it here and we can, um, so that it will help us construct the um, perspective grid as well. So here we've got one box or one square on top of another square. What um, I'm going to do is start dividing it by connecting some points. Um, the op opposing corner points and that will give me the uh, midsection here. So that's actually a little bit higher. And um, what that's giving me is basically the midpoint of um, this line. And the way that we can multiply, you know, this length and we know where to kind of stop over here is by projecting a line from either of the um, opposing or the opposite corners. So that one, that line kind of projects down there. And now we know that we have a, um, a nice square that is a nice large square that is a kind of two by two grid. And we can kind of um, further divide this to make this a um, four by four grid just by going at the midpoint of each of those squares. So here we've got um, a four by four grid, um, or you have like, you know, one, 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 and that's, you know, four sides um, or, or a length of four there and, and a length of four there. And um, what we're gonna try to do is project this into um, perspective here. So um, what we're going to do is start with kind of the same rectangle um, from the leading edge over here. So here let's kind of um, define it as such. That's kind of looking good where we've got a rectangle out there. And what we're going to do is start dividing it into or the same manner that I did um, the 2D sketch. And what, what ends up, what, what this is ensuring is that we're gonna have the right foreshortening for um, this perspective grid. So I've divided the, uh, with an X on the first rectangle, and then I am extending a line out from the midpoint so that we have this point here. And that is what I'm going to extend a line from, basically this line here, onto the grid. So now we have a point down on, on uh, in perspective, and then now we, we can uh, extend that up. So now we have a proper, here we have a two by two kind of grid, but we can just divide it further to make it a four by four. So what happened here is that basically um, these are uh, equal, and it's easy to get that on two dimensions because you can almost measure it and say that these measurements are the exact same. But here we have to shorten the line 
here, they're still equal in, um, in perspective, but they're not equal on the page. This is a longer line than that one. So what ends up happening, so this is, this is the, the, uh, a quick way of doing all of the kind of calculation on the page um, by dividing any given um, existing uh, drawing and then multiplying it so that we can have uh, it correctly foreshortened on the perspective grid. So here I'll, I'll just kind of eyeball where uh, where the grid might might line up. But here we have our perspective, uh, our four by four grid in uh, with proper foreshortening in perspective. Um, so now what we have is essentially the same kind of canvas to uh, project our orthographics in perspective. So here now we can kind of play with whatever whatever we like. Um, and I'll just start defining like an interesting kind of shape here. Um, you can do whatever you want, but I'll just have some slants and some flat faces. Um, Maybe we'll do this again. And maybe we'll put this gut underneath. So I have to find this kind of interesting shape on this four by four grid. And um, what I'm gonna do, it's now nice and easy to translate um, what we have, the, the artwork we have here and, and put it up on this because we have our grid correctly established in perspective. So here I am going to follow the points that exist on the page and start to beef up those lines a bit. So now we have our shape in 2D plane over here, orthographically drawn, and then this one in a two-point perspective. Um, and now uh, the benefit of having it in perspective is now we can kind of um, take the existing line work here and, and project it so that it will also, uh, or extrude it in, in, in this way by making it more of a three-dimensional, more of a shape. Um, more of an object rather than just a shape. So here what I'm going to do is follow the same perspective grid that I've set up and start um, connecting some of the the points that I have here. Actually, I'll go from this way. Okay, I think that's all I need. And now we, because this orthographic, we don't know how far this goes back. Um, let's make it go go quite quite a bit um, farther back so that we have some more, um, not a lot of lines overlapping um, and it's easier to, to see. So let's say it like goes all the way back like here or so. Um, and I'll just kind of start from, I'll just go from there. So this is just gonna be a straight line because it's gonna match the vertical um, all of these are parallel in two-point perspective. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just match uh, the uh, line. It's going to be not quite so parallel. I'm going to kind of, you know, tilt it in a little bit. That line is a little bit tilted than this one because it's going a little bit farther back, um, as it kind of would if it was a straight line going um, down that way. Um, and you'll see that because uh, essentially what we're doing is we have this the exact same perspective grid, and I guess I can draw that in here too. Just um, on the on the flip side over here, 
So now, well, I guess what we can do is, is project. It's a lot of lines to work with, but um, we can try to go with a little less. Um, so that's the kind of midpoint there. You can see this is the square um, of the grid, you know, that far back away. So we can just do the same thing when we're... Uh, and I know that this line is actually the, the midsection here, so I'm not going to extend all of them, just, just to kind of save on... Uh, the line kind of clarity but the kind of existing geometry here so I actually put this in the wrong spot yeah I put that in the wrong spot so here because um, this is going a little bit lower So we're going to ignore that one. So now we're going to draw the same perspective uh, sketch, just on another plane. We can do it a little bit later, since we're not going to actually see this side. But what it's going to do for us is, is see where what we've done is essentially drawn all of the line work we need to define Where these lines start and stop. So it looks a little um, messy right now. I think what I'll do is, is go in with um, some other markers to kind of help define everything. Um, I can start over here and just put a sharpie down on, on these lines. And so yeah, I'm just going to use the con or the outlines and, and bump those up. Just use a thicker or thinner line weight to get the kind of overlapping edges, which would be that one and that one and that one. Those are all overlapping edges. So here you can see we can use a uh, by multiplying existing kind of uh, geometry in two dimensions, we can mimic that in uh, with using kind of the exact same principles in perspective in, in uh, three dimensions and um, get an accurate uh, get an accurate representation of uh, how this object might look in um, two in a, in a three dimensional form rather than just the two dimensional form. 